Okay, um, so we're here um, to kick off the Beyond Mining, Protecting Land, Water and Life conference, which is a counter conference to IMARC, the International Mining and Resources Conference, which has been held in Melbourne for the last seven, I think this is its seventh year, and it's just not okay for those mining companies to come together and network and invest and keep destroying land, water and life. Um, there have been groups protesting this conference for years and so even though the conference is online this year, we are continuing that resistance by holding this conference um, and we're really excited for you to be here this morning and to join us for the rest of the week. Um, so I'll hand over to Marisol. Anissa, and just supporting what Anissa said, yes, we indigenous people, we want all these companies out of our land. And I would like to introduce Banjolini from the land of the Eagle and the Crow, the land of the Andaburong and Banjo. He's a human rights defender and a refugee in his own country. Thanks, Marisol. And get on up, you fellas, for the last seven years of doing these IMARC. Um, uh, rallies and, and, and protests, I think it's so important. Uh, it's a good way of educating the wider community. My name's Bunjalini. I live under, under the law of Bunjil, which is the land of Bunjil, my mother's country, and my father's country is to the east, uh, the land of Buran, the Pelican. Yeah. It's all totems to go with that. Not that people know much about the law of this land. This is a land that was um, um, found on the basis of terra nullis, which meant empty land. It was nobody who lived. There was no one, there was no one home, or no one of any uh, um, of, of any relevance. People had no rights. They weren't they weren't quite human. The people who occupied this land before European colonialism, which only happened 250 years ago. This is quite new in terms of colonialism. But what, what claims is all about is about uh, illegally occupying other people's land, exterminating them, and and and, um, and stealing the resource. And that's where we, we come to mining companies. Australia is basically a, a multinational mining conglomeration facilitated by a corporation called the Australian government. Not really a nation of people, more like a community of thieves who have been living on the proceeds of crime the last 250 years here. If you don't believe me, look at the stats on our people in terms of the, of the, uh, the um, quality of life, the standard of living, how long we live as Aboriginal people for like 20, 30 years, less than non-Aboriginal people in this country. Now, it's all the uh, statistics you could see in a war. Now, there's forced child removal. There's overwhelming... Um, incarceration. Now we fill the jails in this colony. It's a huge industry built on our uh, incarceration and our welfare and um, our poor health, which these people created here. This is an illegally occupied land, Australia. There's no doubt about that. It's full of war criminals too. It's going to be interesting if these war criminals being tried were about by war criminals themselves. No, it needs to go to the International Criminal Court, like what these mining companies are doing to our land. Rio Tintos of the World, BHP, have been getting away with murder plates. You know, we know when a mining company moves into your, into your country, disease is going to follow, grog, prostitution and everything else. All the evils of a white man come and then Christianity. Sort of that's sort of the order. That's how it's been, folks. Australia's unique. You know why? Because it hasn't got a treaty. Not like the rest of the uh, 76 Commonwealth countries around the world. They've all got treaties with the original people. Consent. Australia hasn't got that. So what does that make all these mining countries? Mining companies mining our land doing here. They're committing a crime against our humanity. And it looks like the entire Australian community supports it. They've all got um, their mum and dad mining shares that uh, 
finance their whole family lives in this country. Most most families could probably say that. That should be the discussion around the table every morning. Hey, Dad, Mum, have you got shares in Rio Tente? Is that how you're paying for my education? Now, why don't you ask the question? The Aboriginal people are the most... We're one of the smallest populations in the world in our own country. There's even less activists amongst us, just like white people. There's only a small percentage of activists. So I really appreciate the work that you fellows do. Now, you're very much welcome in our country, people. Human beings are welcome. Demons aren't. And, that, and we're still at a point where we haven't got consent and treaties. So this is all still to come. And all these things that these mining companies steal from this country needs to be accounted for. We want restoration of our country. We want restitution. We want a war crimes trial and a truth commission. Right? Anyone buying into these mining companies, you're just as guilty as anybody, any other war criminal. You're propping it up. And I'm talking about including my own people doing it. Or consenting to these things. Now, there's the issue of, of duress, undue influence. You know, the options for our people, it's not many. You know, tried to exterminate us here. Now, we've survived. We want these mining companies out. Now, you're committing crimes for your countries. You've got treaties with these criminals called Australia, have you? Trade deals? What show us? Because you haven't got it with the original people. You haven't got a treaty with the original people. You haven't got treaties with anyone else on this planet. And I'm asking all you countries, these mining companies here, here show us them treaties you got with this criminal called Australia earlier, folks. Then, the, then we'll start dealing, all right? Present time, Australia remains a crime scene. And I'll start dealing with the reality. You know, Australia's a, a country in denial. You know, things aren't going to get worse. You've got to deal with the truth sooner or later. Lies manifest. Australia is a manifest lie. White only policy constitution, part eyed law. Reservations. This is what they've done to the original people here, folks. I hope the rest of the world's listening. Because we're going to come into your embassy. If you've got an embassy in our country, we're going to come to you and see you. And talk to you about the treaties you've got with these criminals here. We want, to, we want to see Australia in the International Criminal Court of Justice. Or whatever that's worth. Yeah. Get some white people into that court for a change. Not just black people. Australia's like a Nazi wet dream, if you ask me. Check it out, folks. We're on a crime scene investigation. Full on. And you can chuck all these war criminals in the mix as well. Goes well back. Angus McMillan, John Batman, the man who founded this fair town, Melbourne, was a war criminal. So was Major Mitchell. All the wonderful heroes and explorers of the past all got these federal uh, electorates named after them. Good on you, Oz. Good on you. Anyway, they need to be removed. Now that we're going to do war crimes trials, might as well fold in all together, right? And sort this crap out one time. Is that, and if you don't deal with the law of the land, you're never going to remove these people. You need to recognise the, the true sovereignty of these lands. Do otherwise is a crime. Failing to recognise our sovereignty is an act of genocide. Stealing our children is an act of genocide. Killing our people in your jails, in your custody, is an act of genocide. Preventing births is an act of genocide. In fact, Everything defined as genocide in that UN, United Nations Convention for the Prevention and the Punishment for the Crime of Genocide, Australia's guilty of. And there is no doubt about it. What are you going to do about it, the rest of the world? You're going to 
continue to trade with these people and rape this land. Our people never consented. It means nothing, consent. Right, Oz? means nothing. It's a joke. I wonder why you, why you treat your women, the way you've treated our women and children. Joke. Lawless criminals. Game over. End of the day. Just can't keep pillaging and plundering. Colonialism. That's what... That's driven by the mining companies, folks. Colonialism. Needs to end today. Thank you. Someone else want to have a Um, Marisol? I just want to say one other thing that you know, Indigenous people around the world are very similar. We have the same law. We have totem law, divine laws, high law. You know, you need to take a leaf out of our book. We didn't survive so long because we we're idiots and destroyed the land and the nest where we grow. We looked after our land because it was sacred anywhere on this planet. And we're the caretakers, the custodians, and the guardians being stomped on by this colonial society so they can have their greed satisfied. That's what it's all about. Nothing more than that. And there is good people there too. There's good non-Aboriginal people, beautiful people. We're all victims of this stupid, evil, and greedy system, which facilitates all these mining companies. What drives it all so? Thank you so much, Robbie. And I will invite everyone to continue washing and not your clothes, you know, the, the <laughs> content, just in case my accent is sending you the wrong message. Just, yeah, keep looking into all the workshops. This is an important week where we are going to have discussions, we are going to have indigenous peoples and also grassroots movements and fighters who are um, fighting against these multinational corporations. So it's so important. If you want to get in, in, informed and understand well what's happening, this is a good opportunity. Don't miss it. And um, now I'm going to pass it on to Anissa. Yep. Yep. So thank you so much, Ravi. Um, thanks, Marisol, and thanks everyone for joining us for the start. Um, it feels really, really nice, even though everything's online, um, yeah, that we can at least, you know, show you a bit of the outside world, um, get outside under these beautiful trees and, you know, start this conference like this, um, acknowledging the land that we are on um, and the crimes that have been and continue to be committed. So, yeah, please, please come back for the rest of, of, of the week, sign up. Some of the workshops need registrations. Most of them will just be on this link. Um, and yeah, look forward to spending the week with all of you, learning, discussing, and getting ready because this fight continues. Um, yeah.